What's up, y'all? It's your boy Lando with Top Sports Bait. Hope all is well. Sorry for the late video, but kind of good for the late video because Giannis is out. So that changes a lot of things for a lot of people. So for those that don't know, we talk about sports bets. We do sports highlights. We do all of it. But today we are doing sports bets. So we are recapping from yesterday. Yesterday, we end up going two and one on our NBA money line. This loss was on me because I was being greedy. The spread was five and a half. I pushed it to 9.5 going against my Pistons, and they got me. I think they lost by six. So if we would have took the spread, we would have been great with a sweep. So that's on me. Still won because these two had decent odds. Prize picks, we went two and one, but we end up winning money because... The way I do price picks, I always do best two out of three end up hitting. One over there, letter, it was a $20 letter challenge. We end up winning on day two. Now we're on day three. So this is, we went seven and two overall. This is the sixth straight winning day. Oh, I can't put a highlight on there yet. I'll do it later. But this is the sixth straight winning day of March. Literally every day. So when you see this check mark, that means... We made money that day. So every single day, that's why it's important to be a Hall of Famer so you can learn the way I bet because you can see my bets, do some of them, and still technically lose money because you don't understand the way I place bets. So if you're interested in the Patreon, you can um, sign up and learn all that good stuff in here and ask me questions. So today, first we got the ladder challenge. For those that don't know what we're doing with the ladder challenge, we are taking $10 and we are doubling it every single day. The first day we took 10, 1, 20. Second day we took 20, 1, 40. Today we're taking 40 and we are winning 80. So we are winning $80. Then we take profits. After we win today, we are in the green, people. We are in the green and everything is from here on out is just free money. All right. So today I got it simple. You can screenshot it right here. I got Luka, 25 points, Luka, four assists, Kyrie Irving, four assists, SGA, 25 points, and four assists, five legs, Luka, 25 and four, SGA, 25 and four, and Kyrie Irving, four assists, plus 104, $40, get your $41, let's holla. Now, with the, with the money line. I will go over NBA bets with you guys, but like I told people in the Patreon, to be honest, I don't like today games. I feel it could be a lot of upsets. The only one I did like was the Bucks to beat Orlando straight, but I haven't won a bet get going with or against Orlando. Orlando find a way to make me lose every time, so I just try to avoid them for some reason now. So... I would have took the Bucks, but now Giannis out, so leave that alone. You can do the Knicks. The Knicks is negative 10 to win or blow them out. I would change it to negative 5, so you can at least win some money. Outside of that, I ain't really messing with too much. So I went over to hockey. Hockey is number opportunity over there. If you are not familiar with hockey, you probably have to ask somebody in the comments of how to change these. But, you know, Patreon members, y'all, ask somebody in here. They'll show you how to do it. So, we got the over on the Carolina and um and Montreal Canadiens game. What is that? Okay, yeah, the Canadiens. So, we got the over. This is the points, meaning they're going to score seven or more goals on this in this game. Now, we have the under alternative goals. That means I changed it. I went to the all. And change it and did under seven and a half. Because this is um this could be a high scoring game. So I went up seven and a half. As long as they score under that, we win. Penguins to win straight up. They have beaten them um twice both games. I like that. Under seven and a half with Philly and Tampa Bay. The Lightnings, we got the under. We got the wild. Wild, we are undefeated with them this year to win straight up. This is the best odds right there. So we will definitely want this one to hit. The over on St. Louis in Arizona, negative 400. This have the worst odds of today, so this should happen. I think they had nine 
total goals the last two times they played each other. Well, it, I got to see what team it was. And the over for the Ducks in Seattle. That's negative 375. So you can grab whatever ones that you personally like. You don't have to do this as a parlay because if I was to guess if we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two of them, five might hit and two might not hit. So I'm saying we're going to go five and two right here. We aiming for 100%, but have the mindset that two of them won't hit. Your job is to find which two won't hit or hopefully all of them will. I kept it very safe, kind of. The only ones that's not safe is these, you know, like these two, but we shall see. Now, if we look at, we do prize picks in the last. All right, so let's look at NBA. You look at each game, the Bucks, ooh, their money line went from negative five to negative two. So without Giannis, I don't have no faith. I leave this game alone. I don't love it, man. I, I'm scared of Magic. They always get me. Pistons and Wizards. Pistons, they automatically should lose this game, but I don't trust it. I um listened to the whole game yesterday because I was making sure Lillard stayed under his points, which he did, Um, and I wanted Portland to win by 10, which ends up at like 15 the whole game. Then Pistons did late rally, and I think they won by like or lost by six. Pistons could mess around and win this game. I don't know. Ah, uh, they is they doing a back to back. They're young. Another player just went out injured, I believe, yesterday. So we got like seven players in our lineup injured. So you have they're gonna have some G League players. So a G League player might come and just ball out. I don't know. So we have the Knicks versus the Hornets. Knicks to win this. That's why I said change the spread to negative five to just get a little bit decent odds. 76ers versus Timberwolves. They got Minnesota to win. This is a tough one, too. You see why I didn't pick a lot of these games if you don't know who's going to win. You know, you're confused. Pick the home team. Nets versus Rockets. I don't like this game. Nets, because Nets, they just beat Boston. And then they get blown out by, like, who, who do they just play? They played Boston and beat them, I think, in Boston. But we'll mess around and lose to nobody's. Look at this. You'll beat Boston at Boston. Then you'll oh, then you'll lose to New York. You'll get blown out to New York in New York. So yeah, I can't you can't trust Boston. So you gotta I mean I mean the Nets. Can't fully trust them. So I'm leaving that alone. Warriors are a terrible team on the road. You don't know what the hell they're doing. They play different. SGA, I say they should win this one, but we don't know if Curry might score 50. He might have his rust off. So that you see why I'm leaving a lot of these games alone. Mavs should win this one, but I do like Jazz covering the spread. You can add some add some to this. Like you can go like 13 and a half. I will probably take a plus Jazz something bet instead of just Mavericks winning. Because Mavericks straight up, you're not going to win no money. Covering the spread nine points is a lot of points in a you know, the Mavs play weird to see if they're going to be down bad a lot early or come back or how, however they do. And this one is a pick em game. You have no idea who's going to win. This one, Lakers should win, but it's a Lakers, so we don't know. You see why I left all of these games kind of alone. Go to hockey. You can check them out individually. I don't want to go fully in-depth, but all I just do is analyze the team habits, what they've been doing, teams I've been winning with, I have a great, probably 80% winning record or higher with hockey this year. So, been dominating over there. Just copy what I'm doing. Y'all be all right. <laughs> I'm going to lose every bet. <laughs> all right. So, I hope not. All right. Here go prize picks. We have Jalen Green, less points, rebounds, and assists. We have Gordon Hayward. Over points, rebounds, and assists. And we have Anthony Edwards over four block shots. This is a very interesting and different one. I did have Brooke Lopez points and rebounds right here. And I was doing over. It was a big steal. Then they took it away. It was like, oh, that selection disappeared. And come to find out, it's because Giannis is not playing. So if I would have booked that in, it would have been a complete automatic win at this point because it was like 22.5 or something easy. 
And um, yeah, that would have been an automatic win, but I didn't place it early enough. And even if I did, by the time I showed you guys, y'all wouldn't be able to get in. So, you know, Jalen Green. Jalen Green was so hyped up. The deal is we need him to, to do under 27 points, right, in total. Green, they're hyped up off his last game. We ain't heard his name too much this year. Last game, 31 points, bam, he went over. The game, he's not consistent, people. He's not consistent. He had 41 points, and the next game he had 11. So, I'm expecting an 11-point type of game. He could ball out again, but the risk is worth it. So, last game he hit it, 1-for-1. One one. The game before, he didn't. 0-for-2, oh, I mean, 1-on-1. Um, one one. What is this, 26-6? Oh, for, um, well, what is it? One and two. Probably one and three. Probably one and four. Yeah, so if you go to the last 10 games, you probably hit it three times, four times at the most. I, I like I like our eyes for the less. Gordon Hayworth. We got him over points, rebounds, and assists. We have no LaMelo Ball. Got to step up. You got to step up. You're playing against New York, a good team. It's a pride game. So this ain't gonna cut it that 12, 4, and 3. No, nah, dog, it's gonna have to be a 27, 5, and 13. I can see a good rebound game. I can see about a I'm calling about eight rebounds tonight, four assists, and a 20 point game. That's what we're looking for today. And if you do that, we'll be over easy. Anthony Edwards, this is one. This is a good one because you don't have to worry about points. You don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about anything. All you're doing is the whole game. All you got to do is get a block. Somebody come in for a layup and he block, and you get it. And you look at his history. His last game against them, against Philly, he got one block. So he got one block last time he played him, and he's been hot on blocks. Besides last game, he got zero. But before that, at LA, he got two blocks. At LA, he got two blocks. At Golden State, two blocks. Charlotte, two blocks. Washington, one block. So, I like our odds with this one. It could hit, could not hit, but I like our odds. We need two of three to hit. People in the comments, y'all just, like, I do it where you don't have to do all three. There, There's multiple ways you can do this on prize picks. Do I have prize picks up here? Um, well, prize picks, they let you choose. I don't want to sign in. They let you choose the option to for all three of them hit, you make more money, or two out of three hit, you make less money. And even if three hit, you still make money. I'm all I'm remember, I'm the safe person. I'm going to tell you guys to be safe. Let's make money. Now I ain't gonna YOLO it. Hey, Blue Moon, it's Saturday. We're gonna probably YOLO it, but I'll keep you guys up to date about that. All right, let's get this video out. Talk to y'all soon.